Hello everybody, it's me here, and today we're going to be unboxing the Jurassic with Dominion and Kylosaurus figure from the Raw Strike series. So finally, I got my hands on this one. I bought this on Amazon because it was on a deal for $12. Originally, it was going to be the Salamosaurus, the massive attack Salamosaurus, but I wanted to get the Kylo more because... I don't have a lot of Ankylos, and there's not many cool, awesome Ankylos out there. We also have the, the old and buppy Ankylo figure from the last year, and then we have the 2017 Ankylo Source figure. We're just missing the Dino Rival one, sadly. But let's look at the, take a look at the back of the box. We have the Ankylo Source and, and how it works. We also have ourselves the Scorptivator, Radosaurus, and Triceratops, which I already got. Review, check out my Triceratops video. Sorry, I forgot. I already I opened Scorptivator on Rajasaurus before I had a YouTube channel, sadly. But let's get unboxing this Ankylosaurus. Luckily, the good news is I, it just has little rubber on it, so it'll be easy for me to open it. Alright, here's the Ankylosaurus. Let's just let me pose this guy. Here we go, already having to make a noise. And then, here we go. Voila. Check out this figure. I really like this figure, not gonna lie. It looks pretty cool. You get the comparison with the other and Kylo Smith figure. We can see like a bit of the tail being looking different, but like the back looking like pretty cool. If the yellow one he was here, that would be kind of cool. The head scope is being a bit different though. Because these have like a flatter detail and these have like a sharper detail. And then Bumpy's like pretty much the same thing as this one a bit. But like with one of the horns being a bit repossessed a bit. Anyways, let's get a bit more detail on the other Ankylosaurus from the Minion. So here's the Minion. The Minion one it has white eyes. Has a nice reddish detail. I like this reddish detail, not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Then we have the the, the code here. Oh, this is hard actually. Hold on, give me a minute. Here's a scan go for the Jurassic app if you want to scan it. The the the, dyn the new tracker may get in the way, but pause the video if you want to scan this. Basically, how this one works is so you pressure on the back of it and then it does this. This is a really cool, awesome figure. I even like the yellow detail with the back, the the hard bone and the spikes on this figure. It looks very interesting on this figure. And even because we're gonna get another Ankylosaurus figure, but the Hamilton collection, Target excludes it because Target said that they were gonna have the Ankylosaurus from Jurassic Park three. Hamilton collection out, so I'm excited to review that one because that one looks very, very nice. And that was like one repaint I was hoping to come out. And I guess we're gonna have more because not only we're gonna have four in Kylo sources because I have two bumpies. The bumpy store is pretty much the tail problem because this part right here, the other bumpy I had. I kind of turned them out. I, you were able to turn this around even though I was dumb enough to fall for it and I broke it. But luckily I have an extra bumpy. Right, just this one right here. The difference with the bumpy I have is like one is glued with the tail. I put I put glue on the other one. This is the one that still works, and the other one has bat no batteries because I took the batteries out for that one. And the other and this one is the one that still works. It's just I like the other bumpy more because it was louder. This was like kind of quieter a bit, not gonna lie. I kind of put the speaker in my ear to see which one's louder. I don't know why I do that. Cause this one, I took the batteries out of this one because uh some malfunction reasons. It's when it the battery still worked on it, but like every time I like press the button more, it made like this weird little beep sound. It would like beep, and it would like 
really know what to do it, so I just took the batteries out because I thought it would be like. In terms of that, that means that the the batteries are almost out, and I mean the batteries are gonna explode. So that's why I took the batteries out because then the figure was gonna die, and I didn't want this figure to go out because then I have to spend myself another a hundred bucks on this on Amazon or some shit like that. But there you have it. That's the Ankylosaurus review. Sorry if the video is a bit glitchy right now. I don't know why it's doing this. But next video will be the Allosaurus review. I promise you this will finally be the Allosaurus review. We've been all been waiting for it. Because I know I keep saying we'll review the Jurassic with the Minion Allosaurus. And I also got... And, uh, and later on in the video today, I'm going to be putting a short for the new Jurassic World toys. For the Bat Extreme Damage figures. Because... There's two figures you guys are going to be very surprised. Well, technically three figures you're going to be surprised to see. That are going to be in the new the Jurassic Toy Series. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.